The relationship music is easy to make when you keep fucking your relationships up <laughs> due to the music that you make. This sick, vicious cycle of, you know, making the breakup songs and getting back together with someone, you're like, baby, I really need a new album. Could you help me out on this one? And uh, the other day, and I thought this relationship was going very strong. It's my favorite one so far. <laughs> and her, um, her grandfather passed away the other day. And it was the first death in you know, her immediate family. And I had been through a few, and I'm, you know, I, wanna, I was trying to be there for her. And there was a wedding in my family. I couldn't be with her during this time. She had to drive to New Jersey, blah, blah, blah. She came back, and last night we finally got to see each other before I flew out here to do this and the other shows that I'm doing. And she was telling me, um, you know, he, you know, he was really old and he wanted to go. He's just, you know, he wanted to die in his house. So luckily he got to do that. And I guess when he got his, he, he had a heart attack, and his last word was Jack. And I, you know, she just told me that it didn't give me any preference, and I was like, what do you mean? Or his last name was Jack. And she said, oh, well, his brother and his wife and her, her grandma, someone else was there. The guy was his friend. His name was Jack. They said Jack, and then he passed away. And I thought about it for a second, and I, I was, I wanted to make sense of this. I said, you know, there's a possibility that he really meant to say, Jack me off before I die. <laughs> say the whole thing. And Jack's like, yeah. I'm thinking it's all about Jack. So I told her this, and now I think I'm going to have a whole new album. And to make it up to her, I'd really like to write that one love poem that seals the deal and, you know, but I've written like one in my life, and I've spread it among three relationships already. I can't get any more fucking milk out of it. But I'm gonna do it for you right now. This literally is the only love poem I've ever written in my whole life. I've been whisked away by fairy wings and lips that say the very things that lift me from rock bottom. I've got problems that seem to despair when she comes near, my queen sits on air. I'm a downtime about some clouded minds, a cloud nine, polishing unrefined writing styles to make her crown shine. Halos covered by plain clothes, rainbows and now mine. Colorful wording still can't get my restraint flows out of a bind. How would we find each other if it wasn't for her love and nothing other than hovering above her own potential of celestial beings yeah. looking down, yeah. sitting on my shoulder, yeah. whispering sweet somethings in my ear. Her voice is a perfectly constructed wind instrument that brings instant incidents of plucked heartstrings in instinct like it's instinct. Her favorite color is in pink. It's linked to things I think are relative to livelihood and growth. From the landlocked avenue rocks to the ivory coast, her eyes are the most clear substance with substance, even if unrinsed and if they open more and over shore, I could see the ocean floor. I jump into her head and occupy thoughts till her mind warps, but I'm lost and she knows this, it's hopeless to spy off. <laughs> Why, of course, that shooting star maps herself across space, left me to trace when my mood is dark. I played connect the dots with your beauty marks, and I ended up with picture-perfect sheet music. I read your musical notes with the composer's eyes and heard our song for the first time. My spine is still tingling. Mental images of your fine tune is what I've been nodding my head to lately, and every now and then you can catch me humming your nudity under my heavy breath. I heavily suggest you resurrect ancient yeah. neglected dust collectors if you distrust dissonance and seldom pluck heartstrings. Sit stripped before your full length. Perform your reflection backwards. Maybe then you'll understand the rhythm in my movement. Listen when the news is sent. It's then when the rules are bent. I'll be waiting to take your lead. Make me a victim of your two-step, an apprentice of your body parts. Teach me the dance to your beauty marks. I'm stepping on toes here. I don't care. It's hopeless. It's hopelessness. It's hopelessness holding this openness to blow a kiss. So close your lips, but don't get pissed and throw a fist at this vocalist. I'm not emotionless. In fact, I broke my wrist when I wrote the list of all those I miss. This 
is my poker face. <laughs> This is my poker head. <laughs> Guess what I am? Guess who I am? Hulk Hogan. I'm a recruitment officer. <laughs>